Well, the support of uh, Government of India has also been tremendous towards the uh, conceiving and uh, bringing the Vision Summit to all of you. We have uh, Shri J. Satya Narayana, the Secretary, DEITY, Government of India, addressing all of us. But uh, due to some preoccupation, he was not able to come here. But we'll have the video address of uh, Shri Satya Narayana. Good morning to all the dignitaries present here in the Vision Summit of IESA. I hope I am audible and uh, Omkar, can you please respond? Am I audible and visible? Yeah. Okay. Of course, there are two Omkars on the dais as I see. Uh, I am sorry I could not uh, personally come over to Bangalore due to some pressing uh, work out here in Delhi. Uh, but I, I have been uh, watching the inaugural event with interest right from the beginning. And it's really quite uh, uh, a pleasure to, uh, to see the interventions uh, made by Mr. Minister and also all the other dignitaries, including the Deputy High Commissioner from UK. Now let me briefly state what is the vision of Government of India and what is the status, what is the thinking currently going on here. The vision uh, of the National Policy on Electronics, which was approved by the Government of India, is uh, it can be summed up in one word that is to get electronic independence for the country. E-independence is what we are targeting. This is of course also mentioned uh, in different ways by the earlier speakers and they s talked about the magic number of 400 billions billion US dollars by 2020. And the policy, as you know, is a, a very comprehensive and holistic one because it, it addresses all the requirements that uh, need to be met if you have to achieve the requirements of the country. I would sum this up in a, a newly coined uh, uh, term. It is I3P3, I call it, or IQPQ, as you may call it. Three I's and three P's it summarizes all our policy. Three I's being the infrastructure development, the highly specialized quality infrastructure, even in islands and pockets, as in the EMCs, electronic manufacturing clusters. The second I is the incentive system for enabling the individual electronic units to come up, that is through the MSIPs, which Omkar also has mentioned just now. And the third and the most important from my perspective is the, the third I is the, the IP creation in the country. As you know, the, in the entire supply chain, whether you take the supply chain of uh, semiconductors, devices, or an electronic product altogether. About 50% is around IP. So if we are missing out on the biggest piece and working feverishly at the small components of this, uh, you know, pieces of this cake, then probably the net result is not the best that uh, will come about. So we need to address the large pieces, that is the, the IP part and the semiconductor manufacturing, which are number one and number two. Taken together, they constitute the biggest uh, chunk 
are the biggest piece of the pie. So this is uh, these three eyes are very important. Taken together, I think they have to produce the desired result. But what about three P's? The first P is about the people that are required to do the difference, to make the difference. People in the academic world, they have to align their research efforts to the requirements of the ESDM sector increasingly. We need people who are entrepreneurial in nature. The enterprise is very important in this. The risk is very high and so also the need for enterprise, obviously, because the competition is pretty these are all commanded by global supply chains and the margins are not so handsome to you know for the entrepreneur so we need to have a good number of uh, people who are you know uh, the, who can take the risk and enter this uh, sector and of course a very large number of people we need at the shop floor level the total being estimated at about 28 million if we are able to produce uh, you know electronics worth 400 billion you work backwards then you which is a very very huge number from the employment perspective so we need to have policies aligned to producing more PhDs more entrepreneurs and more technicians uh, hands-on people on the shop floor the second P is about the preference, preferential market access. Okay, you have encouraged electronics uh, units to come up here, but how do you see the first, uh, how do they get the first order? How do you give reasonable assurance that they get the first order no sooner they go into production? So this is, that order may not be very, very large, global in size, but nonetheless, it's important. The first order is always very important. So the PMA is actually a preferential market access for the government procurement. There are a number of uh, government agencies and departments which procure electronics in a large scale. And our policy, which was finally issued in December 2013, specifies that at least 30% of that should be uh, in India, should have been manufactured in India from those producers who are located in India, irrespective of whether it is an Indian company or a foreign company, but the production should happen in India. And that 30% goes up by 5% over the next few years, uh, each year five by 5%. And the value addition within that should be a minimum of 25% and going up to uh, by a step of 5% each year. So the message of this policy is that we need to not only give that first order, first purchase order to the uh, new units that have come up in the country or the existing units which have expanded their capacity but also move towards higher and higher value addition in the country. Go up the value chain is what the PMA policy says. And the third piece about the promotion of the whole idea of uh, ESTM. Just as we were promoting IT 12, 14 years ago across the country and within the country, we have started the same uh, a practice now in terms of electronics. I was myself sec uh, secretary of IT in Andhra Pradesh and we were you know promoting the development of uh, IT in the city of Hyderabad and the state of Andhra Pradesh and same thing happened in several cities and you see it made a huge difference to the country in these 10 years, 10-14 years. So we need to embark on similar promotional uh, path at this point of time. We have been doing it, but we have to press the pedal harder because time is um, 
of essence in this exercise. Now, I already mentioned that, you know, the domestic demand is really quite high and I am happy that IESA came out with, while it is nice to talk of 400 billion dollars and huge demand in the country and so on, at the same time we should be more clear, we should have more clarity on what are those top products. If we do an ABC analysis, how does it look like? So, IESA at our request has made that analysis and brought out a set of uh, 20 products which constitute 80 percent plus of the market in India and also five products which have a high CAGR currently because they, they do not have big market share right now but they are growing so fast that no one can, should ignore it. So these 25 products and four components which are common in these 25 products. So that is a matrix of 25 by 4 so to say. If we put our eyes, if we put our act together on these 25, whether it is the IESA, whether it is the government, whether it is the entrepreneurs, whether it is the academia, researchers, all, all of our work should converge on these products and then we have the resonance, we have the required result. Otherwise, if you go in different directions, somebody is working on product X and some, somebody is de designing product for product Y, then there is no resonance. So my appeal to all present here this is let us create that kind of resonance. We already uh, have huge domestic market uh, which is growing at a very high CAGR, example being uh, the tablets and the mobile smartphones. Are, are but uh, small examples of that. So we have come out actually with a, a requirement for a, 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 a tablet which is uh, meant for the Indian conditions that is called the Akash. I am glad to say that you know we have issued the requirement tender notification through DGSND and a couple of days from now uh, we will be receiving the and there is, a, you know, a very good response to that. Seven to eight uh, different manufacturers have come forward, and they are going to put in their efforts and bids in a few days. That's what we are hoping. Just to give a, an example, that you know, tablets could be, because whether you take healthcare, education, rural development, and a score of other, you know, requirements in the rural areas, they can easily be met by uh, a, a tablet of the kind of, uh, a connected tablet of the kind uh, specified by Akash.